Hey guys, how's it going? I'm uh, here bringing you some solo zombie gameplay. This isn't this isn't going to be live commentary. I have a topic to talk about. As you can see by the title of this video, I am going to talk about my plans for a zombie apocalypse. Uh, something that I believe I don't think is going to happen. Uh, some people us uh, uh, think otherwise, but I'm um, just to start off. I, I would I was wondering how a zombie apocalypse would start if it ever got started, like. Before I started talking and doing this commentary, I was like, hmm, how would a zombie apocalypse actually start? And, uh, I, I was being silly, and I was like, um, what, what, like, if, like, like, AIDS started, like, when a human had sex with, like, some kind of animal, and then they got AIDS, and then they passed it on, and now it's, like, a human disease. But, like, what would happen, uh, like, how if, that's, like, similar to how zombie apocalypse would start, <laughs> like, a uh, human would have sex with an alien, and then they would pass it on to, like, their husband or wife, and then, like, uh, they go to their work, and then they pass it on through their co-workers, and then so on, and then the zombie apocalypse started. That would be probably my prediction on how it would start. It would start somewhere in the vicinity of how AIDS started. Um, that's probably the only way I could think of that it would probably start. Um... I don't know, p other people have a lot of weird su suggestions on how it would start. They're kind of funny too, some of them aren't very believable, some of them are. But, um, my plans actually, uh, most people would go to Walmart. Uh, I probably would too. Super Walmart, just stay in there and uh, basically have everything you want. So I would just stay in there, I'll lock myself in Super Walmart. There's plenty of them around where I live. They just started building them in the last couple years, so I'm pretty set. Even a even a regular Walmart is pretty good. They they have video games there, you know. I can hook up my <laughs> hook up my capture card to one of their Xboxes and get a laptop. Well, that would all work out just fine and dandy. But I would probably hang out with hang out there with all the other thousands of people that aren't like infected by the uh, zombie disease. That'd be crazy. Oh my goodness! But uh, another question I thought was pretty I was thought was pretty interesting was wonder if your family member or relative was uh, got like bit or got the zombie apocalypse whatever syndrome I don't know what they would call it but what if your family turned into a zombie what would you do that's that I, w I would like to see a lot of uh, answers on that question. There's probably a million different people that would do a million different things. Personally, um, after playing Nazi zombies for a while, I would probably make them into a crawler since um, they probably would do less harm. <laughs> and, um, you know, they're a zombie, so I don't think they have much feeling. So you just make them into a crawler and then, like, and then have them as like a pet dog. They they won't know the difference. <laughs> so that's probably my plan. If a family member, if I saw a family member turn into a zombie, you know that would be hard for me because like they're a family member and I know who they are. So seeing them as a zombie, they probably don't know who I am or like the significance of why I am emotional when they're I see them as a zombie. So they probably won't care less. But you're just having them around even when they're a zombie is better than being them dead so kind of, it's kind of how it's like when like I'm trying to compare this to like how people uh, have ashes for people like my grandpa uh, my grandma had ashes made for him and now they're at her house so it's kind of like he's still there in spirit it's kind of like uh, turning a zombie into a crawler if it's your family member during the zombie apocalypse um, that's just my take on what I uh, would do with a family member but uh, would I freak out? Um, probably. You know, it's not every day you go down the street seeing a horde of zombies coming at you. And, you know, you have a spare MP5 in your pocket. You're just going to mow them all down. It's just nothing you see every day. Like, I'm walking to school at 7, 7.30 in the morning. And I just see zombies coming out of houses and tagging me. It's just you know, something I'll see happening in the near future. Maybe, like, in 2012. Because that's apparently when we're going to die. Oh, uh, that, that's gonna be, I gotta write that down. That's gonna be another video I gotta do. My 2012, my take on 2012. <laughs> Alright. Um, what else are my plans? What kind of weapons would I have? Um, whatever is in Walmart. Or, 
for me, Home Depot and Walmart are like in the same like area. So I just run over to Home Depot and take some of those stuff, run back. You know, it'll be it would be risky running in the outside in a zombie apocalypse, but I would try it and then run back and find whatever tool, tools I can find, you know. Um if this was a pre um pre-planned thing, then I would stack up on weapons and cuz my mom worked my mom used to work at the FBI in downtown Buffalo and she actually went to the fire like firing range a lot, so you know, I have some gun experience from her. That would be pretty interesting. That'd be pretty neat actually. So, you know, I think my mom's pretty good off uh, in the zombie apocalypse. At least I hope so. She's in the FBI for quite a long time. And then, you know, I came along, you know, having, you know, I'm not going to get into, <laughs> I'm not going to get into all of that. But zombie apocalypse, that would be very interesting. Oh, here's another thought. What would, where would the best place to be in the world to survive a zombie apocalypse? And uh, we're not going to get, like, over the edge, be like, I'm gonna sneak into Area 51 and camp out there. Ah, oh, like I'm not like I'm gonna go in the Pentagon and stay with the government. The government probably even gonna leave. Like during um the attacks on World War Two, the vice president actually got into an underground bunker and stood there, and he actually made an underground bunker for the government to go to in case they got attacked in World War Two. So you know, plans. The government makes crazy plans, but. I don't think they ever actually fell through of going into the, um, into that time or into that bunker and camping out. But I would probably guess, uh, I have no clue. I don't, not, I don't think, I don't think there's any place around New York. That's where I'm from. I don't think that there's any places around here I would go. Um, I don't know, actually. It's pretty interesting. I gotta, I'm probably gonna search some places up. Where would a good place to be? When you're in a zombie apocalypse. That's just... Oh, that's, that's a question that's on my mind now. I can look that up. Where is a good place to be in a zombie apocalypse? Um, off the top of my head, I would probably be like some island. Um, Japan would probably be good because it's, it's a chain of islands. Just go on an island that's really inhabited. And just like find a Walmart and stay in. That would be... That would be a pretty good place. But anyways, guys. Let's get towards the end of the video. If you like this video, I'm just doing my last part of the zombies. I'm not going to do the full part because it's pretty long. But this is just the last couple rounds. Like, half of it through the end. So, you're going to see me die. And whatever, guys. If you like this video, please comment. Do whatever you want. As long as you subscribe. Have a great day and thanks for watching.